Salam alaikum guys, good afternoon. Uh, this time we come to a topic of design considerations by using inulin as our case study. Um, you may have come across products that contain inulin. Um, this is a kind of prebiotics that can be defined as indigestible ingredients of food which selectively stimulate the growth or activity of one or a limited number of microorganisms in the large intestine thus improving the health state of humans um, Inulin or prebiotic were first introduced into the market in Japan um, Apart from the chikori root Inulin is also found in Jerusalem artichokes and may also be extracted from plants such as onion, garlic, leek, asparagus, tomatoes with germ, barley, and banana. And uh, long-term studies have shown that prebiotic properties are exhibited, first of all by oligosaccharides. And the most thoroughly investigated oligosaccharides are fructo-oligosaccharides, or known as FOS in short. But from a practical point of view, the most important source of fructo-oligosaccharides is inulin. Inulin is indigestible oligosaccharides containing fructose in their molecular structure. Because inulin is not absorbed, we believe the health benefits come from the prebiotic activity in the colon. Professor, can you elaborate more on the mechanism of action of inulin? Okay, the fructooligosaccharides uh, in inulin are fermented in the colon by the resident microflora, promoting the growth and proliferation of good or advantageous bacteria, thus suppressing the expansion of bad or detrimental bacteria. How about the commercial source of inulin? Are they derived from plants? Yes, they are derived from plants. The commercial inulin is most commonly extracted from chicory and Jerusalem artichokes. Um, apart from this, inulin can also be found in onion, garlic, leek, asparagus, tomatoes, wheat, germ, barley, and bananas. But these are not yet commercially available. The amount of daily inulin required to change colonic microbial populations has yet to be established. But a study comparing high and low doses of inulin in men and women indicated that 5 and 8 gram per day inulin for 2 weeks can significantly increase populations of bifidobacteria in the colon. Researchers uh, indicated that changes in bifidobacteria are not necessarily dose dependent. Instead, Changes are dependent on initial levels of bifidobacteria. Of course, adding more inulin to functional foods could increase the likelihood of observing a more prebiotic effect. However, higher levels of fermentable carbohydrates in the colon could translate into increased discomfort due to excess gas and bloating. Some inulin is low in molecular weight, some are medium, and some are long chain. Can the difference in molecular weight affect efficacy and sensory properties of the food? Yes, they can. People have done studies on this. The short chain uh, of oligosaccharides in inulin, uh, most of them are sweeter. Uh, they have higher chances of discomfort due to the excess gas and they have lower fecal short-chain fatty acids. On the contrary, for the medium and long-chain oligosaccharides from inulin, um, they are more acidic, uh, probably bland in taste, 
And but the good thing is they have lower chances of discomfort and they produce higher fecal short chain fatty acids. All right, guys. So um, there are many questions you are you want you have. I know one is the structures. Um, how does the chemically how does the uh, inulin looks like? And what's the difference between inulin and fructooligosaccharides or force? What are the products that have been successfully formulated using inulin? And then how do industry decide the dose or the amount to use? All of this to be covered or to be discussed in class. I don't know everything you have to help me. Bye guys, so happy learning. Take care.